And I actually have a question about that because you were mentioning about singing in half voice. And when it comes to these metal growls, I've kind of noticed my myself whenever I try and do metal growls, like or when I'm like singing to a song that I like to listen to, I'm kind of doing that half voice, I think is what it is, or I kind of do whisper growls and I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> and when I do that, I almost am more aware of kind of how the tone is shaping outside of my voice. So does that play into the psychology of like when you go full out and where does that like energy, where is that energy supposed to feel like it's coming from? Is it supposed to be from like your diaphragm? Is that correct? I feel like it should always be from your diaphragm for sure. Um, And singing in half voice, um, it can be a little bit tricky um, without like proper demonstration i think um i just want to you know make sure i say that because i feel like it could be maybe somewhat straining if you're not 100 percent sure what it feels like to sing in half voice i also feel like it's different for the type of metal vocal that you're doing so um that really like uh, i feel like there's like a metal vo- a metal growl that i hear that sits in your mixed voice Um, and that one I feel like is one of the safer ones. And I feel like that's something you can probably get away with doing like in a soft whisper where those more like, um, big guttural ones that are kind of the foundation of it is more of like a big exhale. It actually makes sense to sing those like properly a little less stylistically. It really depends as you can see, like me trying to explain them like it depends on exactly what it is that you're warming up for and how to properly uh compress that so that you're not doing it 100 percent every single time and they're just tiring yourself out i've noticed also like growls people kind of uh preconceive growls to be really loud but most of the time they're actually pretty well controlled it's yeah almost to the point where actually it might even be the same volume as speaking voice um i always found that very interesting because i think when people first start out i think it's important for them to i guess not uh go under the assumption that they have to go so loud that it like you know burst people's eardrums you don't have to do that um yeah that it's that's always that you, wild to me it's funny that you mentioned that it kind of brings up a, a memory that i have um uh, when i was like um teaching at a music school um they would always kind of give me like the the little like the, the rock and roll kids. And I like loved that, you know? <laughs> um, so like, I would have like a student that would come in and be like, Oh yeah, I want to do like MCR. And I'm just like, yes. Um, <laughs> you know, like, I love that, <laughs> that student all the time, um, getting those kind of students, but like they would hop into it and it's like, they're in their bedroom and they're like screaming kind of like, get out of my room. Like they kind of bring that vibe, um, which is, you know, awesome. Like, love that i think that's like you know the right headspace for sure but um one thing i would say like hey gerard way he's very classically trained he has a very strong beautiful foundation but he like is very stylistic with it so we're gonna sing it um more like as if it's a musical theater first we're gonna get that mixed voice and that mixed belt in the proper place and then we're gonna pronounce vowels in certain ways we're gonna add some vocal fry here and there we're gonna like dress it up and make it stylistic and it will sound exactly what you're going for metal vocals gets a a reputation for the extremes so for example the super high vocals that are just like soaring over everything and it's like unrealistic for most people to hit and then there's like the super super low like down under guttural type of vocals, which are very hard to do as well for many people. Um, I've I've seen in, you know, even in our community or outside of our community, just in general with the metal uh, musicians of the world, they many times feel a little bit demotivated about that because they feel like they're not able to hit those ranges. So they feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Do you do you have any sort of advice for somebody who feels like maybe they feel like they have like this limited range, but they want to like achieve metal vocals in their music? Like, do you have any some sort of advice for them? I do have advice for them. 
embrace your range, um, mm. figure out what your range is. Um, and working on expanding your range, I think that's a great thing too, but, um, where you live in your comfortable range is where you can kind of do the most, the most tricks as I, I like to say, um, you can do the more riffs, you can do more stylistic singing because it's a, a comfortable area in your range. And it's important to, um, get to know that and also embrace it and, and, you know, find vocalists that also sing in that range and start off by covering those songs. And if you want to do Amy Lee, you know, bring it down. You know, I, Amy Lee is not my key, um, but I want to sing it sometimes. I just, I transpose it. I bring it down a couple keys or I'll do a lower harmony for it. And I live my best life. And I sing some Amy Lee songs. Um, you know, you got to find that vocalist and that, you know, you're to find that, a uh, person to look up to that metal vocalist that you love that also sings in your range and cover some of those songs and, and build that confidence and really embrace that, that range that you naturally have. Cause we, we actually have this conversation several times on the podcast, which is uh, originality, right? Coming from yeah. a uh, background where you have so many influences and we, we see this a lot with artists in their early stages, right? Where it's uh quite a bit of a, a more of a mimicking type of approach, right? We try to emulate what our idols are doing. And that's where I feel like uh, some people where they discover, oh, I love, you know, Jeff Scott Soto, but I can't sing like Jeff Scott Soto. Jeff Scott Soto has a very different range. He's a different style than how I can portray with my own voice. But I appreciate what I'm gaining from listening to somebody who uh, sings that way. So I find it uh, kind of tricky because it, I think you need a wealth of inspiration from different artists to sort of hone in on what is it, the style that you can kind of really uh, sort of attract yourself to. And then mm -hmm. in your, in your experience, how are you able to take those styles and then sort of shape them into something that you would call your own? Because that, I feel like, sometimes is the most tricky part of becoming your own original musician. Yeah, it's like you're kind of creating a hybrid of everything you love. <laughs> and that makes you the musician that you are. And that will be, like, the formula of your own, like, originality. Like, your own musical persona. Um, I feel like it could sometimes be, like... Um, like people can like overthink it a little bit too much. Like, who am I, who am I going to be on stage? And it's like, you already know the answer and it, it should feel like, uh, I feel like it should be more like intuitive and, and just know, like, I know I love this because of this reason. And it's not like, Oh, I love this because this is what I'm trying to be. And I know this is like what everybody wants to hear. Like, no, figure out what you like, what you've always liked, you know, like what music did you listen to, like in high school and college that really spoke to you. That is like the the foundation of figuring out who you are um, on stage and, and the kind of music that you like to compose and cover and sing. Um, so I think that's like the best way to really go about that. Be sure to listen to the entire podcast on metalmastermind.com. You can just click on podcast there or go to Spotify or Google play. There are links in the description of this video. I want to say thank you so much for supporting and being a part of metal mastermind and Hey, drop us a comment. If you have some things that you would like for us to cover in future podcasts, we'll see you on the next show and remember, create your own sound and style.